Now, let's see how vectors are added by the analytical method. First, we will discuss vector addition for planar motion or two-dimensional motion. When dealing with planar motion or two-dimensional motion, you need to resolve the given vector along i and j only. Now, consider a vector a on the xy plane. From the head of the vector, draw perpendicular lines to the coordinate axis to obtain vectors a1 and a2. Hence, we can write a is equal to a1 plus a2. Let this be equation 1. As a1 is parallel to i, you can write a1 is equal to axi. Let this be equation 2. Similarly, a2 is equal to ayj. Let this be equation 3. Substituting 2 and 3 in 1, you get a is equal to axi plus ayj. Ax and Ay are the magnitudes of the components of A in the x and y direction. Here, A makes an angle theta with the x-axis. You can write Ax is equal to A cos theta and Ay is equal to A sin theta. Let these expressions be equations 4 and 5 respectively. Ax and Ay can be positive, negative or zero depending on the angle theta. A can be specified by its magnitude and theta or its two components Ax and Ay. When A and theta are given, Ax and Ay can be determined using equations 4 and 5. When Ax and Ay are given, you can find A and theta as shown here. Now, let us solve a simple problem to understand the procedure associated with this method. Two vectors, A is equal to 7i plus 3j and B is equal to 5i plus 8j are given. You are asked to add these two vectors and find the resultant vector C. To understand the procedure clearly, you need to first solve the problem using graph paper. To draw vector A, first mark the point 7, 3 on the graph paper. 7 is a coefficient of i and 3 is the coefficient of j. Join this point with O with a straight line. Draw an arrowhead at the end of this line. This line with the arrowhead represents vector A. Similarly, represent vector B by joining the origin O to point 5. 8. Complete the parallelogram by drawing parallel lines from the arrowheads. Draw the diagonal passing through O. Display an arrowhead at the end of this diagonal. This diagonal represents the required resultant vector C. Check the coordinates of the arrowhead point of C, which should be 12. 11. You can also solve this problem without graph paper. You need to simply add the coefficients of i and j as shown here. However, representing the given vectors on graph paper helps you visualize the procedure. Now, let's discuss vectors in three dimensional space. Create x, y, 
and Z coordinate axis passing through point O. Then represent a vector A passing through O. Here, alpha is the angle between vector A and the X axis. Beta is the angle between vector A and the Y axis. And gamma is the angle between vector A and the Z axis. In this case, its three components along X, Y and Z direction can be written as AX is equal to A cos alpha. AY is equal to A cos beta. And AZ is equal to A cos gamma. Here, A is equal to AX plus AY plus AZ which can be written as AXI plus AYJ plus AZK. Here, AX, AY and AZ are scalars and I, J and K are unit vectors. The magnitude of A can be written as the square root of AX square plus AY square plus AZ square. Let us solve a simple problem using isometric graph paper. Two vectors, A is equal to 6i plus 4j plus 9k and B is equal to 4i plus 3j plus 2k are to be added to find vector R. To visualize the process, you can represent A on the graph paper by joining the point 6, 4, 9 to the origin O. Similarly, join 4, 3, 2 to the origin O to obtain B. You can draw the resultant vector R after determining the coefficients of I, J and K by simply adding the corresponding coefficients of A and B. Thus, you have learned the analytical method of vector addition for two-dimensional motion and in three-dimensional space.